I basically use denim as my paint, like a painter would use light to dark paint. I just use the different shades. In the studio, like it, it, it's formed like a big palette, like it's going from light to dark. It takes weeks to actually organize it, but it helps when I'm actually working. I'm Ian Berry. <laughs> Ian Berry. I don't know why I can't say my own name. Ian Berry. Ian, Ian Berry. It kind of merges into one. Ian Berry. Ian. Hi, I'm Ian Berry. I'm an artist who works with denim. For such a ubiquitous fabric, uh, denim is actually um, really interesting because there's no other material, I think, which compares to denim. Just the story of what it's gone through follows that of, say, pop culture. London's a city that inspires me. Um, you know, it's, it's my home. A starting point is uh, finding a scene. You know, you've got to find somewhere which you find interesting, where you can tell a story. It could be, you know, somebody sat in a laundrette, a lonely girl at a bar. Um, urban environments have like lots of layers of different textures and quite mundane scenes, and trying to actually turn them into something quite interesting, like an untold story. It's just as simple as cut, cutting it out. Like, people think like, oh, is it like really technical? And basically, it's me, my hands, scissors, and glue. So I came in this pub with my sister, and she was sat right here, and I just noticed the way the light was hitting her face. And once I looked at the picture taken, I had to make that in denim. So that's the piece I'm working on now. To start a piece is very hard because uh, to find like several shades, um, you've got to match it up and you, know, you can change the art. I mean, I can make the same picture out of seven different pairs of denim but it would change the mood, it would change everything. So like finding those is really important. So many pairs of hands will actually come into crafting a pair of jeans that you know, they've played a part, that I'm actually taking that and using it in my, my work. So I kind of sometimes imagine all these people have crafted it and I'm pulling it all apart to make something else. <laughs>